So I'm here to talk about why I became a coach and why I continue to be a coach. So um, I got started about two years ago when I was looking for, looking to use, lose some of my baby weight. And um, it was a no brainer to sign up as a coach because I got a discount off of the products that I was using regularly. So I figured why not, you know, just start just for the heck of it, just to be a discount coach. And as I started getting results, people started asking me questions about what I was doing. And um, they noticed changes in myself, more confidence. I was, um, my pants were fitting better. I just felt better overall and I was a happier person. So I was showing them the things that I was doing and using and I wound up making money from doing that. And I realized that this was something that was a part of my life. This was something that I enjoyed doing and I was making salary at the time because I was a manager and I had no other way of making extra income. And my family needed that extra income because we had bills to pay. Um, <laughs> it supported my exercise and my, shape, my health food shake addiction um, because trust me, you will get addicted. If, if you start this, you will get addicted to exercise because it will be a part of your life and you'll get addicted to that health and the health food nutrition shake because you see that it gives you incredible energy and it just makes you feel so much better. So I was using that and then I was also using the extra money to pay for trips and um, things that I enjoyed. It helps with Christmas time because you could pay for extra, you know, you had a little bit of extra slush fun for the kids. So let me go back just a little bit and tell you my background. Um, I have been a group fitness instructor since I was, I don't know, for probably about 15, 16 years, right? And I love teaching group fitness, but I can only reach a certain amount of people and I only get them for one hour a day and they don't get to see my life after I leave my classes. So it's, you know, yes, I can make a connection with them and yes, they trust me as their instructor, but at the same time, um, they can do that one class and they don't get the nutrition results. They don't get um, the balance of how you should exercise to either lose weight, to gain muscle, to maintain. So this is something that we can do to show others what we do that works for us and what they can do that will work for them. Because if you put me in a yoga class, I'll tell you what, I will run because I do not do yoga. I don't like yoga. I think my mind is just racing, racing, racing. And I am an adrenaline junkie. I like the cardio. I like the high intensity. That's just what makes me feel calm because I have such a hectic, crazy life. Um, weightlifting, I'm getting used to, but you know, you're not going to like the things that I like necessarily. And I'm not necessarily going to like the things that you like. So one reason why I continue to be a coach is because there's no better feeling than helping someone who doesn't feel great about themselves. Um, I love helping mamas who are trying, struggling to lose that extra baby weight, just like I did. I had to do it three times. The first time it fell off quickly. The last two, it was like, oh my gosh, this is such a struggle. What can I do differently? Um, I just don't, I cannot fit into my pre-pregnancy pants. Um, and this has, I have solutions for this and helping people, helping women feel confident in their bodies, helping those moms get back to where they were before they had the baby. This is something that is so empowering for me and empowering for these women. And I think that what makes it so special for me is that I show people how to fit it into their busy lives. I have three little ones and life is crazy busy. But when I take the time for myself to invest in myself and my happiness through exercise, through eating healthy, through um, following programs, I'm a happier person and I am way more well-rounded and I'm way more present for my family when the time comes to spend time with them. Um, anybody that has a toddler knows that the constant why, 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 and the constant mommy, 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 that drives you crazy. So you have to have a positive outlet. 
Um, and a positive outlet isn't like, oh my gosh, I've had just the worst day. Let me go drink half a bottle of alcohol. Or, oh my gosh, I've had such a horrible day. I'm gonna eat half of a carton of ice cream. That is a bad way to attack it. A good way to attack it is at the end of your day, whenever you're feeling stressed out, take a walk, do your workout, drink something, you know, drink some tea that'll calm you down. Find a positive outlet so that way and pass it along to other people. So that's what coaching can do for you and what you can do as a coach to help other people. And once you start helping other people, you're going to find that positive energy and you're going to find that those days when they're sitting there yelling and screaming and saying, mommy, mommy, and why, why, why you're like, okay, but I actually helped someone because someone who's in my same boat, discover these things that can help them be less stressed. So I'm going to set the example. My kid is driving me crazy right now. So I'm going to go get my workout in. I'm going to go sit in my den for five minutes and sip on some tea. Um, because that is what we do as coaches. We set the example and we live that lifestyle and we show others how to live that lifestyle. So if you feel like you need a change, if you feel like you need positive support, if you feel like you can be a positive support through working on your journey, you would make a really good coach. Um, you don't have to be in the best shape of your life. Uh, you just have to want to help other people. And honestly, you can get this um, supplemental income from doing that. This is what has allowed me to cut back on the amount of hours I work and spend more time with my family. I left my management job, went back to the bedside, and have, I actually started something that I have always wanted to do, but I've always been so scared to do it. And the coaching opportunity has helped me push those boundaries and be less scared and dive into being a critical care nurse. It has made me brave enough to be able to say, you know what, I wanna take care of people that are really, really, really sick. Um, I don't think I would have pulled the trigger if I hadn't done this for myself and taken the risk and seen the results with the coaching opportunity. So if you're ever scared to try something, this is something that is great for you to try because you can never get fired. Um, and you are your own boss. You set your own hours. If you're a mom that stays at home with your kids all day and you're like, man, I really wish I could contribute because I don't, I'm tired of asking my husband for money to get my hair and nails done. Guess what? You can make the money for you to get your own hair and nails done. And he can't say, well, you know, I don't have the money for you. You can say, well, guess what, honey? I made $50 today helping out Julie. So I'm gonna take my money and get my hair done. Now, half the time it doesn't work like that because you have to have a conversation, right? But anyways, the point is that you can do so much with this opportunity if you try. So I want to invite you if you're watching this video, you've already spent eight and a half minutes with me. I wanna invite you to come to my open house. So click on the link that says next open house and enroll in it. You got nothing to lose.